See Jenty back at it again. And today, yes, today we are in sunny Port-au-Prince. Shades are on the eyes here. And we are here at ESIH, a school that has been innovating technology, innovating for the students and for the young adults here in Port-au-Prince. But in particular, we're here to check out Code 9. Code 9, which is an organization that is really blazing a path in the technology space. And we're here to meet uh, the founder. We're here to meet some of the students. We're not gonna spend too much time out here. We're gonna walk right inside the school and we're gonna show you guys what they have going on here. Let's go. See Genty. We're back at it again. We're inside the, uh, I guess the war room, the conference room, <laughs> where uh, instruction room, coding room, right? Uh, we have a lot of different names for it. Yeah. Where we have some of the best and brightest co up and coming coders in Haiti, you know, going to work. Uh, in, in what do you consider this love? Uh, this is a coding club. Yeah. So this is where we gather people. We, we teach them how to code. Yeah. And from them, we're gonna hire the best uh -huh. of them. So Excellent. they will jump to the comp computer uh, software development company so that we can work together. I'm a computer scientist. I graduated from Ecole Superior de Photo in Haiti. So this is where I got my bachelor degree. So this is for um, from there, I, myself and other teams, we, we founded Code 9. And this is where we, we start Code 9 software development company. So with that, we, we, start, we, we started with uh, only nine people. This is, this is where we got the, the, the name Code 9. Mm -hmm. So from them, uh, the way we do it, we, we, we try to find the best, we try to find the best student, the best people that we can teach, that we can work with. So this is why we have a Code 9 class. So from there, we, we have students from Kiskeya, from Photonic, from UH, a lot of uh, colleges, I would say. So, and after that, there we have a 100 days of code. This okay. is a challenge. Mm -hmm. And at, at the end, we're gonna hire the best of them. Mm -hmm. So this is where we're gonna have um, more, more developers than Codenai Dev, Codenai Software Development Company, so that we can uh, be more professional and also be better. How much experience do these guys have when you, do you, uh, you, from zero to a hundred? They are newbies. They are newbies. newbies. So yeah. you're, they're really, you really start from, from, from very, scratch, very scratch and, yeah. then, and then you get them to where they need to go. Exactly. That's yeah. fantastic. And, yeah. what, and what, and what sort of, what has been the feedback you know, in terms of the, the students also, you know, is this the first class? Uh, this is the second Second one. class. Okay. So tell us about the first class. Are they done now? Are they, did you yes. hire? Like how many did you hire? Yeah. How's that feedback? How's that experience? We hired two, two from them. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, the, first, the first one we have uh, at least, uh, I would say at most, they were uh, 10 okay. at the beginning. Yeah. But after that we, are, we, we ended with uh, seven. Okay. So we hired two from them. Excellent. excellent. So this is, uh, we started we work yeah. with them already. Right. And also we're going to hire more. Excellent. Because we already have, we, in, that, in that class, we have 35 students, right? Well, so that's what I like about what you have going on here, which is, it's not just training, you also then bring them on board for yeah. work, yeah. right? That's really important, you know, uh, that's something that's lacking in a lot of many educational programs. It's great to be knowledgeable, but you gotta be able to get to work, right? Get some money, right? <laughs> which is fantastic. What, so, what are they, what coding, what are they learning? Was it, was, what type of language are they learning right now? Well, um, they started with Python, which Python. is, uh, the, Mm -hmm. I would say the, uh, one of the best programming yeah. Yeah, to, to start with. Mm -hmm. So they start with Python and after yeah. that they're going to develop a website with Django. Django which is a framework that we can develop a website faster. Mm -hmm. So now after that they're going to, we're going to jump together in data science. Mm -hmm. And after data science they're going to have a small clue about a machine learning, mm -hmm. arti artificial intelligence. And after that they're going to they're gonna have uh, their certificate and as I said before, we're going to we're gonna take a we're gonna hire for um, five of them, okay. I would say. But this is what, so what are they? What uh, are you creating the curriculum, or, or are they using a website, or where are they getting the, the curriculum to uh, learn? This is where the magic happened because yeah. at Code Nine we already have a website. We we have Code Nine Class, which is an online education platform. Oh, wow. So we already have online courses. So even so anyone really uh, yes, AD, anyone AD, AD, ADA wow. or abroad they, wow. they can uh, start learning is on it Code Nine. English, what do they <laughs> it's, it's a mix. And, 
Creole, Creole, but we have some curse in English, but oh, the most of the curses yeah. are, in, are in Creole. That's great. Yeah. So they, they have free, uh, free access to the, to the platform, so yeah. they, can, they go to the platform to learn, mm -hmm. because we already have all the resources yeah. available for them. Yeah. So they, they learn from them, and also we, we lead them. That's why they, they are here. They are here to practice, yeah. and they are working on their final project with Python. They're yeah. going to develop it. Um, by tomorrow. Yeah. So after that, they're gonna have their certificate because uh, on Tuesday, um, after two days, they're gonna have their certificate that uh, that say the, they are, I would say, they are Pythonists. I don't know the correct word to say yeah, that, yeah, but yeah. Pythonist is uh, someone who knows uh, how to program with Python. Yeah, my next question is, how much are they having to pay? Are they? Is it a lot of money? Uh, no, they don't pay for that because uh, we, say, they don't pay. It's a, it's a <laughs> they don't pay. They don't pay. Here. It's wow. a free, free program wow, because wow. they don't pay for that. But the, that's why we are doing. That's that's why we do that. Mm -hmm. Just because we want to have the best of the best of the best. I would say the best of the best, so that we can work together. Mm -hmm. Just to work with other institutions that we work, we already work with, mm -hmm. and also uh, individuals and Haiti and abroad. We work with institution and Haiti and abroad, so we want to have the best of Haitians that can develop software for them. Awesome, awesome. All right. So what's next is we're gonna show the other part of Code Nine. Yeah. So let's just go up there and show. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Okay. So we're here really at the, the hub, one of the, one of the hubs, one of the hubs of Code 9. And Code 9, of course, they have not only the, the, the class that we saw and, and what they're working on, the next generation of coders, but they also have relationships, professional relationships with some of the top um, companies here in Haiti. Uh, GSA, the top four, and yeah. so we have, uh, we work with uh, some companies, uh, San Francisco Provisions. We work by, by the past with uh, Wednesday, which is a company that develops software for Asian markets and nice, nice. Asian restaurants. Yeah. So and then, and then and of course a few companies, NGOs and, and just private companies around the world yeah, that, exactly. that you work remotely for. Yeah. Exactly. So again, so this is these guys, they are uh, when it comes to experienced coders and professionally, you know, Code 9 certainly is is an elite core uh, that has really been executing and, and I mean, truly, really actioneers really uh, on the ground doing fantastic work, and, and and we have a great pleasure of not only having the love Lori here, who's one of the lead coders and founder, of course, but we also have Jana. 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 We have Jana here, who's one of the lead coders and top coders here as well for Code Nine. It's always a pleasure to, to speak with someone who's been you know doing it right. So tell us about yourself, Jana. You know, how long have you been with Code Nine, and how's your experience been? Um. I'm Jana Gustav. Uh, I learned computer science uh, and entrepreneurship and business management at Ecole Supérieure for the IT. I have a certification in full stack work development and another certification in blockchain technology. Um, now, I like to share my skills and my experience, my experience because it Arrows me move for a better. Mm -hmm. Teach uh, uh, young people <laughs> about digital um, by working uh, with the other association in the country. Nice, nice. And she's one of the she was one of the founder. Yeah, I'm the fantastic, fantastic one of the true, true, you know, from the beginning. And now, so okay, so that means. And, but how long has Code Nine been in existence? How many years now? Yeah. Uh, let's say we we started uh, 2016. Okay, 2016. But uh, but we we let's say we expand our what what, what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, 2019. Okay, that's it. We consider 2019 and the, as our year. Our foundation. Sure, sure. Now, Jenna, tell us about I don't know, how has some sort of the challenges that you overcome uh, in coding in Haiti? Tell us about that. Um, the most challenge is about uh, because you're a girl, <laughs> you don't you don't know how to coding. That's what they think. That's what they say. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. That's not true. 
<laughs> I remember uh, I was the only girl at the time. Um, so among them we say uh uh but you overcome it just by doing it, just by yeah. saying yeah. 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 fantastic. Now, um, where do you where do you see Kona and Mami in your next five ten years? Like, where do you see? Uh, let's say um, we we want to have our uh, our company working with some other institution in the Caribbean. Let's say we're gonna start with the Caribbean and also and uh, we try because in the past we have been some institution in the United States. So we try to have some institution, some companies uh, in the states so to work with. So uh, and also we work with some some of them are uh, located in Asia, I would say Asia, Thailand. Mm -hmm. But it's it's like uh, difficult for us because uh, the time zone mm -hmm. we the time zone is like uh, it's difficult to uh, to plan a meeting. Yeah, yeah. So there's a night and then it's a night. Night. So yeah. we in the five five coming years we see Kodnai, um um work with Estation and the Caribbean, so we, we, we will have a, we will expand our team. So that, that's why we have a code night class so that we teach developers and also we're going to extend the code night class so we can teach other developers in, in the Caribbean. So that way we, we have a large company to work a, where we can give up more software. We're going to hire more people just to give up more software, so more, more application for Estation and also to work with more Estation to do maintenance and also to give up our own software because we give up our own software. Nice. And, and of course, we want to talk about that in a second. But do you see a future for Haiti where Haiti, when people think about you know coders outside of America or you know Canada or Europe, etc., that they think about Haiti, for example, like just like they think about, like, think about India, they think about China. Do you see one day maybe you'll think about Haiti? Yeah, I'm quite sure about that because uh, you know technology is like uh, you know we need to be located in somewhere to work uh, to work uh, on technology because people can work everywhere around the world. You just you, you, you just have uh, you just need to have internet. You just need to have a uh, computer energy mm -hmm. uh, just to work. Uh, and here because even though we have a lot of difficulties and we have a lot of problems in Haiti, the quality problems of but we work. We love what we are doing, and also we work. There are a lot of people in Haiti that work with that work in technology. They they just stay in their corner. Just they have their computer, they have energy, they have internet. So they they used to work with other people. So yeah, there's a future for Haiti in that in that field, and also I think Haiti will be one of, one of the countries that where people one of the reference out there. I hope so. Jana, tell us about. Some of the software you developed. Give me one example, one or two examples of software you helped develop. Uh, I work. Uh, I work for TSF uh, injection laboratory. Um, it was a um, website. But they're saying also uh, uh, this is software where uh, the company can deal with uh, other clients. They can uh, yeah, buy stuff. So like e-commerce. Yeah, yeah e-commerce just for the company. Okay. And after that, what else have you, what other type of software have you developed? Uh, so folks can understand what you want. Yeah, we, we did, uh, so we work with Docco, this, this is a company at Jesus. So we work with, we, what we're doing, we just have a, they have a lot of data at Jesus. So we try, we try, we are trying to, to create a model, model just, a, we are trying to create, um, let's say, they they wanna just fed data value. Mm -hmm. Don't forget data we we pass on the capacity. So yeah, yeah. we do that data science for them. Mm -hmm. And also we developed in the past some um, of the we developed so a local plan which is a software development which is a education website platform. education plan just to manage a school in Haiti. Mm -hmm. We develop also youth work, youth work which is a platform, an application where people can do, uh, can bother what what they don't need. Mm -hmm. If you have a, something that you don't need at home, you can just put it in the platform. So it's like a Craigslist. Yeah, kind of exactly. Nice, nice, so nice, you're going to exchange things. Yeah, yeah. And we work with some other institution. That the, those, those applications are not for us, but those institutions are bet, bet on sport, bet on basketball, football. So we develop the application. Okay, so a gambling platform. 
Yeah. 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 Can bet on, on okay. so you have a variety of different things. Yeah. So now, one thing I'm, I'm waiting for is uh, I'm waiting for that one company that does games, like apps. You know, the App Store. You know, that, I think there's I think there's money in that. There's a capacity. Be, everyone plays games on their phones now. Yeah, we said that we did from the software for yeah. UNESCO. So I can say that UNESCO, UN, UNESCO, yeah. UNESCO. Yeah. So. We develop a, a platform where people can just uh, download the app on the App Store, mm -hmm. so they can visit our, our Stade of Africa in Haiti. So they don't, they don't really need to Google or they don't really need to know how to go to just to ask. Them. They don't really need to ask people how to go to Haiti and just to visit Stade of Africa. Mm -hmm. They just need to download the app. They can see all the places to go. Exactly. Right. They, 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 they can visit the future. Especially with the app, maybe I'll download myself. Okay, part of nationality story. Part of nationality story. Yeah, exactly. So, listen, I, you know, how can someone watching help or partner with Code 9? Like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for clients from abroad? From abroad? Are you looking for partners to help with the school class? What you, how, can, how can my viewers help? Code Night, what you guys are doing is fantastic. I want to make sure you receive that. At this step, we are, we, we are a startup. We are a startup. So we, we are looking for investment, so people that trust us. And so because we have a lot of vision and we, we want to build more, more tents in Haiti. We are, uh, and also we are looking for people uh, that we can collaborate with. Mm -hmm. And also if you have uh, your software, we can develop it uh, for you in, the, in, in Haiti. So you need to trust us because we, we can. We can, we can develop the software. So I will put in, we are looking for people, uh, uh, so people that can uh, that can come and invest in Haiti. Mm -hmm. Because they, they can invest in different ways. Because we have code night class, we have code night day. So this is uh, this is a lot of two things that we have, the, the class and also the um the network that we have the, the teams that work on software for other for the other organization. Mm -hmm. So we are looking for investment. Well, for people that just us that uh, that uh, can that we can work with, yeah. we want to expand the team, so mm -hmm. we need we need other people to partner with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you, that's the challenge to those watching. And this is an incredible thing that you guys are doing. I would love for someone, folks in the audience here, to come and impact and work with these guys because they're impacting and doing major work on the ground here. And this is where Haiti needs to go. A lot of you folks are like, where where is the country going? You know, when we have young, passionate, smart. You know, productive folks like this, you know, we need to see what we can do to lend them a hand. And guys, this is what we do at CGNT. We're always about presenting a different side, a different perspective for the country and, and showing you guys where the country is going to be in five, ten years. And if you like what we got going on here, remember, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, leave a comment, you know, think about, you know, what sort of app you would love these guys to develop for you. I mean, put that in the comments, maybe. And of course, you know, come back. Every each week we drop new episodes. Make sure the notification is on. And uh, I want to thank Lori again for, for, for the work you're doing and keep pushing, John. Thank you so much for you know just powering through and being awesome at what you at what you do, how you do it. And, and guys, we'll be back at it again. We're back at it again. Peace.